Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Where we honor God, we uh, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. So praise God. And we have a passion for God, and we have a passion for souls. We want to welcome all our NBC families, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Don't let him go. Lord, you have something for me, and I want it now. Amen. So praise God. Uh, woo! We're going to be talking today about availability. Oh, Amen. Lord. Being available. We've been talking. Last week we talked about uh, send me, Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. Always pointing at somebody else. You know, send them. You know, send them. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Lord, send me. Amen. Yes. When you feel, man, I'm I'm ready. I'm 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 available. That's what availability is all about. Lord, I'm available. Send me. Amen. Yes. And uh, when you feel that way, you know that who you are, and you know that God has made you and qualified you and called you. Has a, that call on you. Amen. Yes. So praise God. So we're going to be talking about availability. You know, God wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to. Uh -huh. Once in a while, he wants to correct us, amen? Because oh, yeah. we get out of our uh, ways, you know, and we start losing track of things, you know. Mm -hmm. But we got to stay focused, and we got to stay ready, amen? Yeah. But anyway, praise God. I have a little, well, before we do that, uh, let me see. Let's make a, grab your Bibles, and let's yes. get this declaration together, yeah. amen? Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Your mind, your mind says your, your mind is alert. And your mind is the battlefield. So you have to be careful on as often as possible yeah. not only on a daily basis but as often as possible yes. renew your mind to yes. the word of god amen because if you're not focused and on the word it just it's just going to wonder and it's going to go you know why because we live in this negative world yes. and we hear yes. negative things yes. and it's always going to try to distract you and pull you away amen and if you're not focused and renewing your mind daily you're just going to end up somewhere else Amen. It's not that you don't want to, but you know, sometimes we just focus and and, and just be guided by the wrong things. So be careful. Amen. You want to stay focused on the things of God. Renew your mind to what the Word of God says. Otherwise, you're just going to let junk, bad things guide you. And we don't want that. We want His Word to guide us. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Man, we can, we can say amen and go home. Praise All God. Right. Amen. <laughs> I got, I got a little uh, scripture nugget for you, and uh, well, I call it scripture break. You know, we take breaks for a lot of things, you know, <laughs> uh, coffee breaks, smoke breaks, you know, we take all kinds of breaks. Why not yeah. take a scripture break? Yeah. I've said it before, but we need to do that on a daily basis here. Where are you going? I'm going to do my scripture break. Read the word, amen. Hey, amen. We can't get enough in us. We got to get that word in us. Yeah. When we stop getting in the word, we're going to be walking in faith. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be stepping out in faith in the word of God. Amen. But this scripture break goes like this. Facing your daily giants. I don't have any daily giants. You don't? Well, let me read you a few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't let your daily giants of care, worries, fears, uh, sickness, trouble, problems, or lacks. You know, uh, defeat you. That's it. Amen. You know, we say this all the time, and you need to write this somewhere, mm -hmm. but it goes like this. <laughs> don't uh, don't magnify your problems more than you magnify your God. Amen. Amen. You want to magnify your God before your problems. Amen. Absolutely. God is greater than anything, including your problems, including these giants we just mentioned. Amen. Few cares, worries, fears, sickness, troubles, problems, or lacks. Mm -hmm. And you know, there could be more things there, okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever distractions yeah try to come and bother you amen right. it says defeating them doesn't uh depend on your abilities That's jesus it. has already defeated them mm -hmm. remember that we fight a uh, 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 a losing uh foe satan is is is, is a losing foe he's lost already That's it. remember we got to remember this you know we can't have a losing uh, enemy chasing us 
We're running from a losing uh, enemy. Mm -hmm. We need to put him on the run. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he's going to flee Please. from you. That's it. Because he knows this person has been in the word of God. This person has been with God. Amen. Yes. Whew, man, what's, coming, what's, amen. what's coming out of you? Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. the, if the devil knows, people will hear. People will know. Oh, yeah. you, must, you must be one of them Christians. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them Christians. Why? Because what's coming out yeah. of your mouth? What's your words? What's your actions? Amen. Because people know, and, and the enemy knows, and he goes around as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. How does he know who to devour? Well, what's coming out of your mouth? And what's your words? What's exactly. your actions? Amen. Amen. So you got to be careful. Jesus has already defeated him. Mm -hmm. And, um, Excuse me. Uh, you're, fight, you're fighting a spiritual battle daily, and God has given His church, the body of Christ, spiritual weapons to use. Let's remember this. We have spiritual weapons to use, but we need to use them. He also has given us an armor to put on the armor of the whole armor of God. You know, I was in the military many, 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 many years and retired, but still, they gave us a uniform to wear. Amen. And we got to put that uniform on a daily basis. Yeah. And be ready, be focused, uh -huh. because you got to be better ready. Yes. It could break out any time. You know, and you fight a spiritual battle, and that's mm -hmm. all the time. And you got to be ready. Because you know what? We've said it so many times, but the enemy, the devil, he's a full time devil. Oh, so yeah. a part time <laughs> believer, a part time Christian is no match. To a full-time devil right. he is ready are you ready amen if you're ready guess what i'm available lord i'm ready amen amen thank you i'm ready let's go let's do it so don't let any uncircumcised giants or circumstances take your victory your peace away from you believe it receive it and act on it amen I'm going to press out. I'm going to step out in faith. I'm going to step out with him because I am ready. I'm available for him to use me. Woo, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I've got some some good scriptures for those two. Amen. He's given us Ephesians 6, 12, talking about uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rules and darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So you know that person next to you? Your neighbor next door to you, that's not your enemy. No. Amen. Jesus died for them too. They just don't know that yet. But you, you know, he could use you to reach them or minister to right. them, you know, share with them. Amen. But your enemy is the devil. He's the only enemy you have. Amen. So hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but we're going to be talking about availability. God will use whatever we make available to him. Here's the question. <laughs> Are you available? Amen. The thing about it is, he won't use you if you're not available. He's not going to force you if you're not available. So we need to make ourselves available. Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about uh, the availability. In Luke 5, uh, 1 through 11, he talks about Jesus calls his first disciples. Amen. And this uh, end result here is salvation of souls he calls his disciples he's putting this team together uh -huh. of disciples to come so that they can go and and uh bring people to christ amen hallelujah amen. so in uh and in, in, uh, in this uh text here in uh, uh let me see 510 b says have no fear have no fear from now on you will be catching men these we're talking about some fishermen Amen. And they went out to fish, but they didn't catch anything. But they came, and Jesus was there. Amen. And he asked to use their boat because the crowd was coming, yep. and the crowd was getting big. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know what? I need to borrow your boat. Just launch out a little ways from the shore. Mm -hmm. And that was his pulpit right there. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He just listen to this. It says, Whoo. he says, Jesus even used a smelly old fishing boat <laughs> and some broken nets no. amen what did he use he used what it, they made available to him yes. right amen we need to make ourselves available to him amen jesus used what peter made available to him amen so we're going to be talking about his ministry we're talking about a ministry of uh availability 
We're talking about a ministry of reconciliation. We're talking about a ministry of helps. These are ministries yes. where the believers can serve. Amen. Yes. So, you know, I don't have a call. What's my call? Well, guess what? You have a ministry of availability where you can make yourself available for God to use you. Yes. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. You're a part of this. Amen. Big or small, it doesn't matter. The thing about it is, are you available? Amen. Amen. We need we need to know this. So God has a ministry for every one of his children. Yeah. All believers. Amen. Yes. And I just gave you some uh, ministry of availability, the ministry of reconciliation, and the ministry of helps, where we can all serve. Amen. So not just for the apostle, the prophet, evangelist, pastor, or teacher. We call that a fivefold ministry. You know, if you grab your Bibles, open your Bibles to Ephesians, we're going to read that in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through, excuse me, 11 through uh, 15. Let's go to Ephesians. Amen. You have your Bibles here. What? Ephesians chapter 4. Chapter 4, 11. 11 through uh, 15. I'm going to read it. I have it here. I'm going to read it to you from the New Living Translation. Amen. And now, listen to this. Now, these are gifts Christ gave to the church. Right. So you're wondering where, the, where, where do we get the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher? They're gifts that Christ gave the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what are the gifts? The apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Their responsibility is to equip people, God's people, to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We're talking about believers, building us up. You know, we've talked about this so many times, but we have to grow in the things of God. We have to grow in the word of God yeah. so we can be strong so that nothing can distract us from what we need to do. That's it. Amen? So we we have to study, 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 study. Amen? The And verse 13 says this, this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we may be mature in God's measuring up to the full and complete standards of Christ. Mm -hmm. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed to and blown about by every wind of uh, new teachings. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, hey, somebody just come around and tell you there's something new going on over oh, here there's boy. something new going on over there you know you got to follow and you're, you're just going back and forth like a yo-yo you know you got to be careful yeah. i mean is it is it based on the word of god yeah. yeah or is it something new that they just come up with yeah. you know yeah. just because it's new there's nothing new about the word of god yeah, it. amen it's it's the same mm -hmm. and it's the truth and it's going to set you free so just because somebody bringing up something new, is it Bible based? Mm -hmm. Is it based on the word of God or not? You know, you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. You see where I left you. So we will not be influenced when people try to trick us. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to trick you with lies so clever they right. sound like the truth. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. It sounds like the truth, but it's not yeah. scripture based. It's not based on the word of God. So be let's let's be careful. And that happens all the time. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. Now, if you never heard that before, now you've heard it. Jesus is the head of yes, the church. He Amen. He's the head and we're the body. So who is he going to use? He's going to use us, the body of Christ, the church. Amen. So this building is not the church. We are the church. We are his body. And we go out and do uh, yeah. what he wants us to do. But before you go out, you got to make yourself available. Yeah. When you make yourself available, he, he's got something for you. Yes, yes. Amen. So again, be participator. Mm -hmm. Be involved. Don't exclude yourself. Yes, yes. Amen. It says, but every believer, every Christian has a ministry or a calling every one of us we all have a part big or small it doesn't matter just do it it's unto him amen. amen do it unto him lord i'm doing this unto you amen amen everybody doesn't want to do it because nobody's watching and no who's going to get the glory you know if i don't get the glory i don't want to do it 
if nobody sees me, I don't want to do it. <coughs> well, he's going to get the glory, you know? And sometimes nobody will be around except he's him and he's watching. And Lord, I'm doing this unto you. And I'm going to do my best. You know, we want to do our best. Sometimes we just want to do our best when somebody's watching. Well, he watches. He knows you the most. Amen. So let's go to another scripture. Let's go to Colossians 3. One of my favorite scriptures here. Colossians. You just go down the road a little ways here. Colossians. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Start at verse 23. 23, 24, and 25. Are you there? <coughs> Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 through 25. And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. You know? But we want to do it under man so man can see and man be pleased, you know, so men can give you all the accolades, you know, and say, oh, man, you did great, you know, still. And verse 24 says, knowing that of the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Mm -hmm. For ye serve the Lord Christ. Yes. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's remember that. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can't go and try to be ugly to somebody and say, Lord, I'm doing this yeah. under you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. And verse 25 says, But he that doeth wrong shall receive uh, for, uh, for the wrong which he hath done. Mm -hmm. And there is no respect of persons. Yes, you know, yes. he has no respect of persons. So he's not doing, he's got favorites, you know. Yes, yes. But he's no respect of persons. Right. So, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let's, let's remember that mm -hmm. every time. Praise God. Be nice. You know, be kind. Mm -hmm. So many people uh, nowadays are so rude, you know. Oh, boy. Don't and you gotta, you got to spend some time with him mm -hmm. before you go out into the world facing these giants, you know. Mm -hmm. Because if <laughs> if you not spend time with him, those giants can have you right away. Oh, yeah. Amen. I mean, they can just take you over in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So, man, those are good. Yeah. Yep. Let me uh, read it to you from um, the Colossians and from the New Living Translation. It says, working heartily as at whatever you do, whatever you do, as though you was working for the Lord rather than for people. Mm. Remember, be a God pleaser, not yes. a people pleaser. People will do you wrong. Mm. Amen. But he will never do you wrong. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance mm -hmm. as your reward mm -hmm. and that the master you are serving is Christ. Christ. Amen. 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 That's who you're serving. Mm -hmm. But if you do what is wrong, you will be uh, paid back for the wrong you have done. For God has no favorites. That's right. Amen. God has no favorites. You know, people start labeling these things. You know, people start saying, well, that person is favorites, you know, because God is blessing them all the time. But you know what the difference between them and you is? they making themselves available. Mm -hmm. And God is using them because they make themselves available. Yes. Amen. When you love Christ, you know, you'll make yourself available. Yes. And do what he wants you to do. Amen. Amen. And he's going to reward you. He's going to bless you. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Corinthians uh, 5, 17 through 21. New uh, King James, I'm going to read it to you. But it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And 18 says, And now all, all things are of God and has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ who has given us a ministry of reconciliation. Yes. Who gave it to us? He gave us a ministry of reconciliation. Yes. It doesn't matter <laughs> who says what. Mm -hmm. He's giving you a ministry of bringing people to Christ. Yes. And you know, we all leave these four walls and we go to different areas. And wherever you happen to be is your area of ministry. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can minister to people there. Amen. Wherever you happen to go, you can minister to people there. Bring the people to Christ. Sharing the word. Mm -hmm. Sharing your testimony as he leads you to, to do so. You know? So... This is just a building where we assemble ourselves together. And 19 says, that is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses on them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. 
and 20 says and now then we are ambassadors of Christ mm -hmm. as though God were pleading through us we implore you on Christ's behalf yes. be reconciled to God yeah. for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us yeah. that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ amen, amen. so guess what mm -hmm. he's the head we're the body and he's going to speak through, he's going to speak through you mm -hmm. we're his ambassadors we go we send ambassadors to different countries mm -hmm. and they speak for the USA mm -hmm. amen they speak for us so wherever you happen to go you yes. speak for him Amen. And you want to share the good news. You want to share the gospel. Amen. The things of God. Not bad things, but good things. Amen. Yes. So we're his ambassadors. Not only reconcile him, but be his ambassador and share the good news with them. Mm -hmm. So this morning we talk about the ministry of availability. Be, being, being available. Jesus made himself available. We're going to talk about some heroes, Bible heroes, <laughs> that make themselves available. And there's so many of them. And they weren't perfect except Jesus. <laughs> but he made himself available too. Remember how many times I've told you the Father and the Son had a meeting in heaven. <laughs> and he, he said, Son, I need to send you. I need to send you to go and get my people back to me. And he volunteered to go. He made himself available and he came. Amen. So he was our greatest example. Now we need to make ourselves available to go and bring people into the kingdom of God. Ain't it amazing how blessed, what a blessing. Mm -hmm. The greatest thing is to bring somebody into the kingdom of God. Yes. To have somebody confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. Amen. He just took them out of hell and into, and into yeah. heaven, yes. into eternity in yes. heaven. I say, man, you all you need was share the word of God with them. Right. Amen. It's not just for us. You know, some will say, hey, we're just a, our little group is the only little group that's going to heaven. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. That's it. Amen. <laughs> for God so loved the world. That means all people. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he's going to get his people back to himself and into heaven by using us, making ourselves available for him to use us. Amen. Amen. So. Whatever calling God has given you, and he's given you a call. Yes, yes. Yes. Again, we've talked so many times. God has called you. He's anointed you. Mm -hmm. He's equipped you. And he's equipped you to win, not yes. to lose. Right. That's it. So if you're still, still thinking about losing, it's not from God. Mm -hmm. We need to clean that out, renew our minds, and start getting in the word and, and, and learning the word. And what the word says about us so we don't be thinking about be losing anymore. Amen. He's made us to be winners. He's made us to be champions. He's made us to be warriors. Amen. He's made us to be overcomers. Amen. Overcome the world. Overcome all these mindsets that try to put you down on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Yes, Greater is he that's in you than all these distractions that's trying to come against you amen I say man I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me see that's when you're being a winner I can do all things through Christ Lord I'm available and I can do all things through you, yes, thank you because Lord. why because you are my strength because you give me strength yes. amen Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. I'm preaching you better than you ain't been <laughs> <laughs> right. says we need to be available to do what God has sent me to do what God has uh, want to use me to do but we need to make ourselves available. Yes. Amen. And you know when you get the good news and you share the good news with somebody else, is they will now become available for God to use. Mm -hmm. The more we bring in, the more He's got to use, you know, and to send out yes. and to reach out more lost people. Yeah. Amen. We're reaching out into a yeah, lost absolutely. world. We're bringing the good news to yes. a lost world. Mm -hmm. We're bringing the light of God into a dark world yes amen before god sends or use you anybody main thing is here's the key thing you need to be available mm -hmm. he can't send you and he's not going to force you mm -hmm. he's giving you a will mm -hmm. and he won't violate that will 
Right. If you choose not to go, guess what? You're not going. And God's not going to force you. Mm. Amen. You know, if you've fallen and you decide to stay down, nobody ain't going to pick you up <laughs> until you decide, well, I need to get up. Yeah, you need yeah. to get up. You know, just because you've fallen doesn't mean you got to stay down. Yeah. Right. You know, a lot of us have sinned and done wrong things. But you know what? It's time to dust yourself off. Yes. Say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Yes. And come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And now it's time for you to get up and press on. I mean, he told, he told that man, he, 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 he healed him. He says, get up, go home. You know? And he walked. And he jumped and leaped. And, and man, he was having a great time. And people were stunned when he saw him. Well, he can use a nobody that's what you want to call yourself and that's what people label you mm. as a nobody he wants to take a nobody and make him a somebody yes and when you get in the word and get filled with the word of god you are somebody yes. you're a child yes. of god that's, that's the way you see yourself right. he's my heavenly father if he's my heavenly father i'm a child of god mm -hmm. regardless of what people say or think or try to label you yeah you are somebody you know what? And if you fall, if you've sinned, just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. You repent. And he said he's going to forgive and forget. Yeah. So you need to do the same thing. Forgive, forget, and let it go. It's in the past. Let it yes. go. People may not forget, but you need to keep forget. You know why? Because you've got an assignment. And yeah. you've got a mission. And yes. you got to go on this mission. I'm available, Lord. Yeah, but you can't go anymore because you said, no, you can't go anymore because you're not this, you're not that. No, I confess. If I confess and he's going to forgive and forget, then I can. Keep, he's going to keep using you. Many, many of our Bible heroes you hear about, they did great sins. And God still used them. Amen. So, don't exclude yourself. Confess it and get it out. Yeah. Nobody will be used. Yeah. Nobody was used. Uh, uh, nobody was used by the Lord in the Bible unless they were first made themselves available. Man, we can't say that enough. First Samuel three and four. The Lord called Samuel, mm -hmm. and he answered, "Here am I." Samuel was mightily used of God. Why? He made himself available. Yeah. Here am I, Lord. How many times have you said that, or have you ever said that? Lord, always picking somebody else. He don't pick people. People make themselves available. Yes. They make themselves available. God used them. Have you made yourself available? It's time that you do make yourself available. Mm -hmm. Forget about the past and forget how bad you feel or what people has labeled you mm -hmm. with. God says, you know, confess it, repent, and God is ready to use you. He didn't put you here to fail. He put you here to win. He put you here to fulfill a mission that he sent you on. But you need to make yourself available mm -hmm. and press on. Yes. Amen. And the more work to get in you, the more faith you're going to have. Yes. And you're going to step out in faith and no more fears. That's it. And people can't, the enemy and people can't use that against you anymore. I'm stepping out in fear. I'm pressing on with Jesus. Right. I'm pressing on with God. Amen. Mary. <laughs> Listen. Oh, I, I, well. It says Mary, the mother of Jesus. It says there's hundreds, thousands of uh, virgins in Galilee. Thousands of virgins in, the, in, in Nazareth. But Mary was one went down in history. Why? Notice what Mary said when the angel told her of her chosen ministry. <laughs> she had a ministry called, a special calling. In uh, Luke one thirty eight, Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. In other words, I'm available. And guess what? When she says, I'll do it. I'm available. And the angel left. He completed what he came. Yeah. And Mary uh, made herself available. And that was it. Yeah. Amen. But she made herself available. Of all whatever... All the virgins in the, in the area, they chose Mary. And Mary, uh, who knows how many he went to and wouldn't volunteer. 
How do you know? How do I know? I don't know. But maybe he went to others that never volunteered. Mm -hmm. Except Mary. Mary said, well, you know, hey, I don't know a man. But she says, she, she says, uh, uh, be it unto me according to thy word. In other words, I'm available. Mm -hmm. Jesus was sent and walked perfectly in the will of God. Why? He made himself available. You know that meeting they had? <laughs> okay, Dad, I, I, I make myself available. Sent me. I'll go. And he did. And you know what? He had opportunities to just say, hey, this is too much. I can't take this. He had opportunities to give up. He was tested by the enemy. Right. But he didn't give in. Amen. And you know what? When he, needed, when he needed strength, he went to the Father. Lord, I need your strength. I can't complete this without you. What about us? Whatever he's given us, you know, we still need to go to the Father and say, Lord, I need your strength. I need your strength on a daily basis. I need your strength to complete what you want me to do. That's okay. If Jesus asked for strength, if Jesus asked for help, so can we. Yeah. And he's not going to deny it to us. He's going to oh, give God. you the strength that you need to press on. I can't do this on my own. But with you, I can do all things. Yes. Amen. Yeah. He's my strength. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It says, Jesus made himself available. He had a choice. So do we. <laughs> yes. As the son of God, he only, he only wa he wanted to do the will of God. Mm -hmm. And it's recorded of his availability. And Luke uh, 2 and 49 says, Know ye not that I am about, uh, I am about my father's business or my father's uh uh, work, you know. In other words, he says, I am sent and I'm available. I got to be about my father's business. Amen. So we can do the same thing. We got to be about the Lord's work. Yeah. What he wants us to do. We got to be about our mission that he's sent us on. See yourself that way. He's called you and you got a mission and I'm going to fulfill it. And there's going to be distractions. There's going to be things coming against you. But I can do all things through Christ. Oh, amen. Amen. Lord, I need your strength. Renewing Renew in my mind to the things of God. Because amen. the world's going to bombard you with negative oh, things. Yes, yeah. With bad things. Distractions, distractions, distractions. Mm -hmm. You need to stay focused. Absolutely. Amen. You need to stay focused. And you need to stay battle ready. Yep. And you need to stay in the Word. And Lord, I thank you. I can do all things to you. Oh, Amen. Me. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I must be about my father's business. In other words, I am sent and I am available. Mm -hmm. The disciples use mightily because what? Because they make themselves available. Yeah. Everyone. I mean, it doesn't matter what Bible hero you talk about. They made themselves available. Yeah. You know, he chose Moses. Moses. He talked to Moses. Moses says, I can't talk. <laughs> they try to exclude themselves before they make themselves yeah. available. Well, I'm not good enough, you know. Mm -hmm. We try to do that same thing, you know. The world will put you down in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But when you come to Christ, we shouldn't come with that sorry mentality, you know. No. Hey, <laughs> we, we shouldn't come thinking that way, no. you know, because we know better. You know, he knows better, you know. He put you here again to win. Mm -hmm. And he's qualified you and, and chose you. Yes. And called you. Mm -hmm. And now he wants to send you. Mm -hmm. And don't come with this mentality, you know, of saying, Well, poor little old me, you know. Mm -hmm. You got you got the wrong attitude. We gotta get a winning attitude on a daily basis, Amen. you know, to go and do what the Father wants us to do. Amen. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. <laughs> Woo! Lord. Now, you listen to this. Well, Matthew 4, 18 through uh, uh, 22, it talks about, you know, the disciples. But in verse uh, 22, it says, And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. Remember, Jesus came. And we're going to read a little more about it in a few minutes. But Jesus came when he was choosing his disciple team. And he asked Peter to borrow his boat, his smelly, smelly fishing boat mm -hmm. <laughs> and and Peter made it available to him but still what what was made available to him he used 
You need to make yourself available to him. And when you make yourself available to him, he'll use you. Yes. And then immediately they left mm -hmm. the, their, their business, their profession, mm -hmm. and their father, and they, and they followed him. Yes, Amen. Everything. He said, thank you for letting me use your, your ship. Then he says, now what I want you to do is go out at a distance, certain distance he says drop your nets <laughs> he says what are you doing you're telling us us professional fishermen how to fish <laughs> he said we've been out all night and we still we didn't catch anything and you want us to go a certain distance just a certain way and drop our nets and they they went he said yeah. but you know what the main main thing is he made himself available <laughs> by obeying what God right. told him to do, Amen. what Jesus told him to do. And he went out in certain ways and he dropped his net. Mm -hmm. And it was so heavy, he called the other ship to come over so they could help him out. And he knew immediately, he came when he got the shore, he came, dropped on his knees and said, Man. wow, he was overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And both they followed him because they knew after that there was going to be fishers of men and not fishers of fish <laughs> amen now here's paul we're talking about chapter 9 acts chapter 9 verse 1 through 6 we're talking about a conversion no boy. That was something. paul or saul the conversion of saul yeah. he was going around uh well let me see when god called him he was the worst sinner around right yeah. you think you're a worst sinner Bible said when Paul was the worst sinner. He's supposed to be a believer, but then he was going around killing and putting uh, Christians in prison. Killing Christians, putting Christians in prison. And then he went to the high priest to get a, a you know, says, sent me, and he was going to go bring some more. Amen. He was going to go get some more. Listen, it says, uh, putting uh, into prison many Christians as he could get his hands on. A blasphemer. He's a good cursor. <laughs> How could God use him so mightily? Listen what he said after his conversion with Christ in Acts 9, uh, 9 and 6. As he was trembling and astonished when well, Jesus got his attention. He saw his way to Damascus for Christians. And this light come down just like lightning <laughs> and uh, knocked him off his horse and when he's on his knees hands and knees <laughs> this is what he says he's trembling and astonished he says Lord what wilt thou have me to do yeah immediately he made himself available mm -hmm. he made himself available to Jesus mm -hmm. so God used him and you know his conversion he said, told him where to go. And then he saw that saying, Ananias over there to go lay hands on him. He says, are you kidding me? You want me to go lay hands on him? He's going around killing us Christians. Mm -hmm. But still, mm -hmm. Ananias made himself available to right. go lay hands on him. Yes. And when he laid hands on him, you know, his scales come off. His eyes were open because he was blinded. Mm -hmm. And his name was changed from Saul to Paul. He wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God used him. He made himself available. Yes, he did. Amen. Yeah, sure. But yeah. you might say, I am no Samuel. I'm no Mary. I'm no Jesus. I'm no disciple. <laughs> or I'm no Paul. I'm just putting it on me. <laughs> I'm just just me. God can't, couldn't use me. And we try to Tell them reasons why we're not good enough. Right, right, yeah. Because people have told you, uh -huh. the world, this world has told you why you're not good enough. Mm. This world will always disqualify you from whatever oh, yeah. you right. try to qualify yourself for. Mm -hmm. Say, you're not qualified. You're not good enough. And you know, we kind of measure ourselves on that. Mm. Well, God has already qualified you. Mm. So you don't have to, he says, <laughs> He don't call the qualified, he qualifies the call. Yes. And he's already qualified you, so you don't need God's approval. He's already approved you. 
Amen. Amen. So that's why it's so important you please God, not not the world, because mm -hmm. the world is never going to they never going to be pleased. That's it. <laughs> never. I'm a nobody. He could never use me. He can. You know what? He can and he will. Yeah. The main thing is, are you making yourself it's available? Incredible. Once again, just remember, Lord, I'm making myself available. Mm -hmm. I place myself in your care. I place myself in your hands. Mm -hmm. Amen. Always exclude ourselves. Jesus used the little boy. Remember the little boy? Mm -hmm. Everybody's read this message, you know. The little boy to feed 5,000. What did the little boy have? Lunch. <laughs> he had a lunch. You know, people gathered and he told the disciples, you know, he says, uh, well, we, we got to feed them. He says, oh, no, you know, <laughs> we can't feed this many people. 5,000 people? Mm. 5,000 men. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, men, men, you know, 5,000 <laughs> men. So he's talking about women and children too. I mean, that's more. <laughs> so still, mm -hmm. he says, go see what you can find. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the disciples probably just talked together and said, you know, hey, we'll just tell we found a little lunch and that's it. You know, when, when, he, when he hears that, he's just going to let them go home. Mm -hmm. Let them go home and feed themselves, you know? Not Jesus. Not Jesus. All they found was one nudge, and they was going to give Jesus his story, you know. And he says, this is all we found. Jesus says, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. What do you bring to him? Mm -hmm. All you need to do is bring yourself. Mm -hmm. Bring yourself to him, and that's enough. Mm -hmm. That's enough, you know. He's, he's limitless. Mm -hmm. I mean, we try to put limits on everything. Yes. But with him, he's limitless. Yeah. Yeah. He took one little lunch. Can you imagine? What was it? Five fish and two two bread? Five loaves and two fish. Five, five five and two, two fish. Still. Still. He said he blessed it. Mm -hmm. And it kept multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. A small lunch. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Mom <laughs> said to the little boy, says, here, you're going to be there all day. So here's your lunch. Mm -hmm. And for him, to give up his lunch. Mm -hmm. That was a blessing right there. Oh, yes. That was a blessing to give up your lunch and say, hey, everybody for themselves, you know, everybody pick themselves. We can have that attitude. Mm -hmm. Or we can just say, you know, hey, I'm making myself available mm -hmm. and God used them, God used that lunch mm -hmm. and and multiplied it. Yes, and kept yes. multiplying. Right. Says five loaves and two fishes. Mm -hmm. He didn't have much. But he made it available yes, for yes. Jesus to use. Yeah. Jesus took what he had, he multiplied and used it, and there was twelve baskets left, left over. over. That's a lot. Out of a small, I mean, will that convert you? <laughs> will that open your eyes? It says, "Wow, that's how limitless God is." Mm -hmm. Amen. That was awesome to feed that many people mm -hmm. and still have twelve baskets left over. And just one lunch, you know, can take you and use you mightily. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, praise God. Thank, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. How are we doing? It's time. This time? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your precious word, Lord Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Jesus. In closing, <laughs> Jesus had better things in store for them yeah. than catching men. He prepared his disciples. Mm -hmm. From now on, you won't be catching fish. You'll be catching mm -hmm. men. Amen. Yeah. Jesus wanted them to go from little things to bigger things. Yes. Yeah. Like the lunch, mm -hmm. from little lunch to a big mm -hmm. lunch, mm -hmm. multiplying things. He want to send uh, them to go from fishing, mm -hmm. uh, from fish to men. Yeah. So he wants to also take us from having a small mindset to having a 
thinking about how big God is yeah. and how big God can use us, yeah. even if it's small, regardless. You know, Lord, make I make myself available to you. Amen. Amen. Again, church, we need to participate. Yeah. You're part of this. You're part of God's, um, the body of Christ. Yes. You're part of his plans. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So uh, one more thing. He says, he took Peter, again, Peter, denied him three times, and he used him mightily, brought 3,000 souls into the kingdom of God. So regardless of what you've done, don't let that hold you back. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Amen. It's been forgiven. It's been forgotten. You need to do the same thing. Renew your mind to the things of God and start pressing and going for Jesus more and more on a daily basis. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Is Jesus in your boat? We got to let Jesus in our daily daily living boat so he can be yeah, with us yeah. wherever we happen to be whenever you happen to step out and go each and every day jesus is with me greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world it says jesus never leaves me nor forsakes me so he's with me all the time and i'm going to go and accomplish what he wants me to do amen praise god amen. thank you lord we need to give we need to give our time our talents and we need to commit ourselves and make ourselves available to him Amen. each and every time. Amen. 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 Do you receive, church? Yes. yes. <laughs> do you receive? Yes, men. Yes, we do. Thank you, Lord. We receive. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, and those of you, those that are here also, mm -hmm. we need to make ourselves available. And God yes. wants to use you. Amen. Yes, if you've uh, sinned, all you need to do is confess and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And I want to make myself available to you to be used. And he'll say, that's what I want you to do. You know, because if you don't make yourself available, you can't be used. But now he wants to use you. Amen. So all you need to do is make yourself available, confess, and uh, repent. And he'll come and be your Lord and Savior from now on. Amen. And you step out in faith from now on. Amen. Praise God. If you have sickness in your body, just speak to that sickness. And command it to go in Jesus' name. The Bible says, by Jesus stripes I am healed. Totally from the, from my head to the soles of my feet. Yeah. So any malfunctions I speak to, and I call you well, and I call you healed. And I speak to my body. Body, receive your healing right now in Jesus' precious name. Whatever is sickness or whatever is coming against you right now, we call it well and we call it healed because by Jesus Christ, I am healed. He Amen. took the stripes from me, so I am going to confess my healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And it's time to give those of you who are watching, listening, go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252 Market, Texas 79843 and if you now you can do cash app at New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. God loves you and we love you. God bless. <laughs>